The 2025 flooding of Punjab is the worst in the region's history with around 48 people dead, 1900 villages affected and lakhs displaced. This year's rains wreaked havoc on many North Indian states through flooding, waterlogging and causing cities to come to a grinding halt. For Punjab, the IMD in August classified heavy to extremely heavy rainfall in the state for 24 out of 31 days. And Punjab averaged 400% more rainfall in the last fortnight of August than normal. The state government sprang into action on September 8th, 2025 and announced that Rs 20,000 will be given to every farmer whose fields and crops have been affected and farmers lining along the riverbanks will now not need any permission to extract or sell sand. Chief Minister Bhagwant Maan further said that landowners will now be free to remove and sell the sand that has been deposited in their fields since the cabinet adopted the Jizda Khet Uzdi Reth policy. Man said that in addition to helping farmers, this approach would enable them to restore their fields for cultivation. PM Modi on Tuesday, September 9th, announced a relief package of Rs 1600 crore for the flood-affected state. And the state's political parties are saying that the funds are inadequate. I urge Prime Minister Narendra Modi to enhance the financial assistance of Rs 1600 crore announced for Punjab, besides considering a one-time loan waiver for farmers in flood-affected areas, said Subir Badal, president of the Shrimani Akali Dal. It is normal for events to become political, but the exception here is the clear manifestation of climate change. The erratic and extreme rainfall that caused destruction in not only Punjab, but also in Himachal Pradesh, Jammu and Kashmir and Uttarakhand has a sole culprit, and that is climate change. And unless the elephant in the room is addressed, temporary fixes of relief measures just won't be enough.